What is up, cruising fan? We're back at it again. This is today. It's the day after tomorrow, guys. So I wanted to show real quick. I actually ended up putting or taking off. Yeah, putting the wheels. I ended up taking the ram completely off. And after taking the ram off, I noticed that the grill is actually cracked in a few more places than I was expecting. I was. I thought it was only on this side and this side and I haven't even moved it yet. But yeah, so I'm definitely gonna need a new grill. I'm gonna do a little bit of research and see if I can just put any kind of uh, grill I want from any year. But uh, give me you guys' honest opinion. I mean, I know I said I was gonna build it for me. But I think it looks a little too small and these are 14 by sevens. And they're not even on 100%. They're just, you know, I think they got three lug nuts each on the adapters. And the knockoffs are not completely tight. And I also wanted to ask you guys, what do you think about the knockoffs? I personally always go with the hex stop sign looking. And that's because I have a key that works perfect. I actually have two of these. I don't know where the other one's at. I know I have another one somewhere. I bought this off a of Lay It Low. And man, this beats the hell out of having to beat your, your knockoff with some lead hammers. And you know, it's actually, I don't, if you guys know, let me know what do you think. So I always see these, I hate these style right here. The shark fins, I hate them with a passion. And this is the reason why I hate them. Most of them are pronged out, you know. And as you can see, these are bent in. And that's from beating them. So I don't know if that's because they're crappy China knockoffs. I bought these with the wheels. But that's one of the reasons I like to use the hex. Because of that key. You know, you can't beat it. All you got to do is hit it with the impact. And do your thing so i got these so the truck is an 85 and i'm really really feeling these mondera knockoffs they're a little beat up actually i'm i'm not 100 percent if they're mondera or sinister i think they're mondera i'm not 100 percent. correct me in the comment section if you guys know but since the truck is an 80s i would really like to get these redone re chrome and I have the whole set of those. What do you guys think? Should I go with the Chevy bow tie looking? Should I go with the old school? I've had these for like two years and I, I swore that one day I was gonna use them and I think they look good on this truck. I'm actually not happy with the uh, gap. Actually in the front it doesn't look horrible. But on the back there's a shitload of space still between the arch and the top of the wheel i mean but i honestly i like it i wish it was a little lower sitting a little lower in the back but you know maybe i could ride like this and wait until i get some 15s or wait till i have airbags and i do some suspension work end it up or end up turning the shackles upside down and see if the, I could we could put the leaf springs on top I have no idea I've never done that before it's just something I'm kind of thinking but I'm, I'm really fucking pumped man so I already wrote everything I need for it you know tune-up wise parts that way I have a to-do and a plan list and whatever little bit of money I get it goes directly to what I need on that list that way there's no BSing around but yeah, I really like those knockoffs, man. I really, really do. Let me know in the comment section down below what do you guys think. Seriously. I know I said I was going to build it for me, you know, but if I'm asking for input, you know, you guys can give me input, whether it's positive or negative. But man, I'm, I, I like it. I kind of wish it was a little, a little lower. If it's sat like it's like it's sitting in the front, but damn, I really like how that looks. I mean, I'm not gonna lie. I wish I had more coverage, 
in the wells in the wheel wells but or that i could uh, fill up that space more but ain't nobody complaining man i kind of want to take it for a ride real quick just to see but i will have to put all four tires all four rims on and i'm losing a missing a couple of lug nuts and if i'm not mistaken one of these yep right here this one's completely empty so i will have to stack or fill this one back up hopefully i don't have to end up putting a inner tube on it hopefully it doesn't leak and these are all the parts i've taken off so far and you know i would have had a little bit more time today to put in some work like i wanted to take the tow hooks out and i wanted to actually see if i can hit this dent up a little bit it's got a dent right here i wanted to see if i could dent it but you know i don't want to make no noise late at night and correction guys i actually had somebody to tell me you know like how the hell do i live if i don't have water if my water got shut off it's not that i'm broke and i didn't pay my bill i'm talking about the outside faucets so you know i can't really do anything with the truck because who wants to go inside get water and come back out here out here and do that you know we need to have a constant flow of water so you know it ain't rushing i don't got money to put these bit this bitch up in the road yet so you know i'm not really tripping but it's amazing how just a set of wheels will make a different or difference in a vehicle just a set of wheels this truck is dull as hell it's got no shine to it it's got dents everywhere oh, i think it looks good jeez this is pretty sick and another thing guys so don't get these whatever car you drive i, I hate running into these and I've had a few problems with these lug nuts. And if you can see, they are encased on this aluminum sheet. You know, these are like hollow inside. So I ended up, well, one of them was already messed up, which is right there. So I put the right size on. Oh, I just noticed my socket is cracked, but it's okay. I already got a shitload of use out of this socket, probably like five years. And I think it cost me like $22 for the whole set impact at Harbor Freight. So, you know, it's okay. Time to buy another set. I can still use this one, but now that I see that crack, I'd rather not because this gun has a... Sh well, this one and the Milwaukee. This one has less power than the Milwaukee. The Milwaukee is a lot more powerful. But uh, this will definitely make this shatter in my face. You know, it's almost there. But yeah, if you guys got these lug nuts, man, get rid of them. I don't even know why or how they make this and they get away with it. But, you know, why don't you just put a regular nut lug nut? You know, like, you guys can see that the size got shaved off because of the skin of this spinning around. But once I broke the sheet, I was able to put a smaller socket on the nut and take it out. I hate these with a passion. And I recommend that if you got these on your vehicle with the little sheet, just get rid of them. When you least expect it and you need to do a, a, a swap out a tire in the side of the road or wherever the hell it happens, you're going to regret having these nuts because they could work. These could work for a while. And, you know, just the one time that you need them to take them, you need to take them out. It's going to be the one day that it's going to fail on you. You know, I really don't like these, man. Look at that. It's like literally like a like a sheet like aluminum sheet or cast sheet over it it's freaking garbage but yeah so that's my recommendation on that guys let me know in the comment section what do you guys think about the Mondera and if they're not Mondera somebody please correct me I know they're either Mondera or Sinister I've had them so long ago I don't even remember but uh yeah man that's what I got right now uh, I would like to say that I'm gonna put the wheels back on but as you guys can see it's getting dark I'm gonna actually leave it like it is clean up my tools take a couple of pictures and just rejoice while I'm upstairs looking at these pictures of how this truck is gonna look all right guys you know how I do 
this is gonna be the end of the video like i always say keep on cruising